you've moved into Hollywood now. I'm uh, I've I've re- I've read. So um, what? Well, tell everyone about your movie. Yeah. So when we started, actually, I'll tie this back to what you do. Um, when we started the PLL, you know, we felt like, wow, this is uh, this is going to be really difficult. We're we're motivated by purpose here because we want to build a a system. We want to build a league that can pay guys six, seven figures in wages, not five. And uh, we want to give our players equity in the league. That's never been done. And these guys are like ground up builders. We always hear these historic stories about the NFL where the guys in the 50s that were making nothing and had second jobs, like what if they had some equity in the Dallas Cowboys now for all the groundwork that they laid? And we also give our players health insurance. And we were building this thing from scratch um, as that, as I called out earlier, I'm kind of a market. We fancy myself a marketer, a media person, and I remember sitting in a in a, in a room. It was actually Peter Berg, um, his his boxing gym called Churchill. Uh, he had originally started it. It's in L.A. It originally started with Freddie Roach, and they were hosting a, like a small get together with Dana White. Uh, this was probably four or five years ago, and Peter invited me, and so I, I went in and listened. And Dana was telling his origin story of uh, living in Boston as a trainer, then taking a one-way flight to Vegas and convincing the Fertitta brothers to buy the UFC for two million bucks and all this shit going through and how uh, he, they changed the rules and were really struggling and were $40 million in the hole. Then the Ultimate Fighter came out, which was a time buy. And this like, incredible story. And we get so much access to the UFC today. I always, I always think about like, wow, what if they had that story in a documentary form? And so you know, I consider probably would be a, a dreamer in that most of the stuff that I want to do doesn't get done. Uh, but in this case, um, when we were building the league, I was like, we got to have cameras on. So we've just been recording for the better part of four years and uh, uh, then had an amazing director approach us in Hollywood, an amazing producer. So this director is Michael Donner, producer is Matt Tomac. They both have their hands in a lot of amazing projects. Um, and then we had Uninterrupted, which is LeBron James and Mav Carter's business, which is structured around being more than an athlete, which in their words, they were like, there's not a, a better example of, of an athlete leaving a league and starting his or her own and having their colleagues come with them. So that was sort of the genesis, but we had piles and piles of, of content. Who's going to put the story together? So I mentioned them because they're great storytellers. Um, fast forward to... You know, three seasons in, they just kept insisting that we record, we record. Um, and then we put together this film. We got into Tribeca Film Fest, which was a, you know, a hugely prestigious festival that we had no business being in. And ESPN watched it. They acquired it. It's getting ready to release now uh, on August 29th. And um, yeah, it's basically our story of building the league. And it follows me as a, as a player in the league and a founder, which was incredibly dynamic and hard, um, all the way to me retiring last season. So I think if you're a sports fan, you'll enjoy it. And if you're a business person, I think you'll really like it as well. Um, and we not really hold back. I show all the moments. And, uh, and unfortunately, you know, if you're going to document the last three years of your career, they're mostly going to be <laughs> which, which, you know, I wish I wish I had I wish I had the documentary and when I was like playing well. But don't put yourself anyway. down like that, lads. <laughs> don't put yourself down. I bet you know the people don't think that with our own worst critic. Yeah, uh, it, it was a special thing to be a part of. And and to your point, like now taking taking on Hollywood is a whole different beast than, than sports industry. So when did you start filming that? Did it like if you say you've been filming for like four years? Did it get interrupted with COVID and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we started filming when we were first conceptualizing the Premier Lacrosse League. So I was still playing in the other league at the time. So Act One is basically us versus them. I was going to say so. Obviously, if you were still playing in the other league and co-founded this league, that the yeah, yeah. did you have some? Uh... They didn't like that. So yeah, you'll see like, the, you'll see like the lawsuits and things like that that we were so headstrong around our idea but we originally tried to go work with them and and offer them you know some capital to see if we could figure out a joint venture between us and major league lacrosse um and then you know we had this successful first season and they're still running and we're head-to-head competing um and then boom COVID hits and i'll tell you man like 
we have great investors, great ownership. Uh, if we knew that COVID was coming in 2020, when we went out to go fundraise in 2018, everyone would have been a hard no. Yeah. Uh, but what do you do as an athlete? I think we're blessed with these genes. Like we talked about imposter syndrome, but we just put our heads down and figure out a way. Um, and we got through the pandemic and now we're on the other side of it and we've had bigger media deals and sponsors and we're able to sell tickets and merchandise and all this stuff that goes with building a league. So, um, yeah, that, that's why our producers were like, keep the cameras rolling. We were originally going to close it down after the first season. Anyway, 